friends i hope you all are fine today i am here to introduce myself in front of you this is dr chandni varma it's my new youtube channel named as my edu space and i'm very new at youtube it's my first video and hope you all support me and i teach you different topics on biology if you want to learn something just drop the comment and i will make sure you got your point of view and make a video for you and soon it will be uploaded on my channel now no more taking or wasting the time let's get started in this video we are going to look at the structure and function of a prokaryotic cell and what are the basic differences exist between a prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell before getting in depth to prokaryotic cell let's we first talk about the cell as we all know cell is the fundamental unit of life all living organism whether it is a plant animal fungi and so on all are made up of cells you also know this that there are only two types of cells these are bacterial these are eukaryotic cell and the prokaryotic cell both are different types prokaryotic cell is the simplest or primitive cell whereas eukaryotic cell is the complex or advanced one the name suggested that the prokaryotes is made up from two words pro means primitive or old and karyon means nucleus hence these are very old and primitive type of nucleus is present in prokaryotic cell which is not membrane bound nucleus there is no well defined membrane surrounds the chromosome or genetic material dna hence we can say that the significant difference between eukaryote and prokaryote is the existence of nucleus prokaryotes do not have a membrane bound nucleus even they lack all membrane bound organelles unlike founding eukaryotes for instance they don't have mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus etc now the basic structure of a prokaryotic cell here i am taking a bacterial cell as an example of a prokaryotic cell look this is a typical prokaryotic cell the prokaryotic cell can have what is called the capsule or slime capsule on the outside of the cell the capsule is thick layer made up of polysaccharides and its function is in protecting the cell from drying out and also help them to attach surfaces so the outermost covering is called capsule inside this they may have cell wall made up of from peptidoglycan the second one is this the cell wall it is made up from peptidoglycan this cell wall is very rigid the function of the cell wall is to provide structural support by maintaining the shape of the cell and also protect it from bursting out from any kind of turgor pressure now which is followed by a cell membrane a typical cell membrane you can see c c c capsule cell wall and then cell membrane this is the outer envelope of any prokaryotic cell one thing you may have to note out that about plasma membrane is that its structural composition is almost similar in every organism it is semi permeable in nature and its function is in the regulation of material moving in 
or out of the cell it's very much selective in choosing molecules that can pass through so cell membrane is done now inside the cell there is a nucleoid they don't have nucleus but they have genetic material such as dna this is such as dna or deoxyribonucleic acid concentrated near the center of the cell forming nucleoid this genetic material or chromosomes are also known as genophore somewhere you can also see that it is also called genophore sorry my writing is very bad genophore now next they contain a small circular dna which is extra chromosomal or extra genomic dna called plasmid which is not the part of actual genomic dna they can replicate itself without any dependency on genomic dna functionally they provide resistance to the cell from antibiotics or we can say help in drug resistance okay students now plasmids replicates independently of the large genomic dna and can be passed down to other prokaryotes through small hair like appendages called pili this is the structure called pili similarly it is called pilus these are of two type pili that have separate functions attachment pili attachment pili and sex pili as their name indicates attachment is for adhering to the surfaces and sex pili its help in bacterial conjugation so the attachment pili help in adhere to any surface in somewhere these are also known as fimbri you can see that in many books the attachment pili or the hair very very small hair like appendages uh, through i throughout the body of capsule are fimbri or attachment pili the other type of sex pili that help in bacterial conjugation where their exchange of dna takes place between two bacterial cells like this is one bacterial cell and this one is other bacterial cell there is a chromosome inside this cell and this is another chromosome inside this cell now the pili form like a bridge and help in transportation of this genetic dna to other bacterial cell so hope you understanding what i am trying to say now the seventh <clears throat> the cell ribosomes the ribosomes now you must be thinking that if there is no organelle present in any prokaryotic cell then why these ribosomes because ribosomes are naked structures they don't have any kind of membrane that cover them ribosomes in prokaryotic cells are similar are are composed of two units that is 30 50s and 30s the totally 70s which is very smaller as compared to eukaryotic cell which are 80s the function of the ribosome is synthesis of protein during the process of translation okay got it now at the end of the prokaryotic cell there is a long extension this there is a long extension called flagellum which allow it to move it helps in movement of the cell by doing this kind of propeller action now mesosomes you can see the small bodies the green small bodies 
these are mesosomes now what are mesosomes they are nothing but just folding of plasma membrane which increases the surface area like cristi in mitochondria i hope you know the cristi help in uh, uh, cristi help in anaerob aerobic respiration in mitochondria functionally they help in aerobic respiration and serves as a site for dna replication the example of prokaryotic cells are bacteria mycoplasma blue green algae and pplo pplo stands for pluronumono like organism they exist mostly as single celled organisms so we can say the body organization is single celled or unicellular although multicellular prokaryotes do exist like cyanobacteria they may form large colonies and myxobacteria they have multicellular stages in their life cycle now the shapes prokaryotes are classified in four categories on the basis of their shapes so these are cocci bacilli vibrio spirula let's we take one by one okay so so the cocci similarly it is called coccus these are spherical rounded or oval shape as you can see over here singular it's called coccus as i already told you if two cocci are is present it is called diplococci and if they are stacked up like this then it is called staphylococci if they are arranged in a linear fashion it is known as streptococci if cocci are arranged in cuboidal manner like this then it is called sarcina and if four cocci arranged like this it is called a tetrad cell the second one is bacilli or rod shaped single single is called bacillus and if they are arranged one after another it's called streptobacillus if bacilli arrange themselves in a single layer arranged loosely perpendicular to surface and quite parallel to each other these are known as palisade and if two bacilli arranged side by side with each other they are called diplobacilli or diplobacillus now in the third shape found in prokaryote is vibrio or comma shape you can see over here these are comma like cells called called vibrio cells or vibrio cholera is the example of a vibrio cell and the fourth shape is spirula or helical shape like in spirulum or spring like in and so it is spring like in spirochetes now now what are the major differences between a eukaryotic and a prokaryotic cell so we take one by one here we can write prokaryotes and here we can write what is the difference or what is the difference from a eukaryotic cell to prokaryotic cell so in prokaryotes nucleus is absent no nucleus whereas in eukaryotic cell a membrane bound nucleus is present next body organization is unicellular whereas in eukaryotes the body organization is multicellular membrane organelles absent in prokaryotes but in eukaryotes these are present 
prokaryotic cell contains cell wall whereas eukaryotic cell may present may have cell wall but not almost the case where cell wall is present the ribosomes are smaller these are 30s to 50s whereas in eukaryotic cell these are 40s to 60s larger than prokaryotic cell the extra chromosomal dna that is plasmid is common in prokaryotes but rare in eukaryotes example of prokaryotes includes bacteria mycoplasma blue green algae or pblo and example of eukaryotes are fungi plants animals etc so in this video we have discussed about the specific characteristics of prokaryotic cell the structure of a typical bacterial cell the shapes of prokaryotic cell and the major difference between eukaryotes and prokaryotes thank you for watching to support this channel please subscribe share and watch more videos and please 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 hit the bell icon for update